guys? <sighs> Old jeans. Love to hate them? Hate to love them? Nah, just hate them. And we throw them away. No, wait, don't toss them yet. I'm gonna show you how to make some really cute cutoff shorts with them. Cute! All right, well, if you don't have old jeans and you're feeling scissor happy, don't cut your good jeans. Just don't, don't do it. Just don't, don't do it. Go to the thrift store. They have an absurd amount of jeans there that are actually kind of cute. All different cuts and colors, and they're crazy cheap. Look for colored jeans. Black, white, khaki, or this season, light blue jeans are in. All right, grab those suckers. But don't forget to try them on. You gotta make sure they fit right. So once you get them home, make sure you wash them. Cause, well, that's just nasty, man. They're from the thrift store. All right, so they're clean. Put them on and walk in them a little. Sit down, do some tummy tucks, some bicycles, just work it out. The point here is we want to get those jeans to ride up so that when you cut them, you don't make them too short. Nobody wants to see your flapjacks. All right, so now that they're a bit more lived in, I'm going to mark where I want to cut them. I make my guide a bit longer than how short I want them, just in case I mess up. Better to have too much fabric and go back in than not enough. And I'm kind of making my lines like 45 degree angles. It's more flattering to your legs that way. Then mark the back with a dot a little lower than the line in front. Alright, so grab some scissors and make a small incision in the inside of one leg. Then poke your scissors through that hole and we're going to just cut the top fabric, not the bottom. And we're going to make sure we cut over that marker line. Okay, then do the same thing on the other side, trying to match up the lines as evenly as possible. So both legs are the same length. Now that the front's done, move on to the back. Flip it over. And using that dot as a guide, cut the leg a bit over that dot downward in a 45 degree angle. Straight line all the way across to cut off that remaining fabric. Now I just match up the two sides to mark off where I want to cut the second pant leg just to make sure that the backs line up evenly. And then do the same thing, trimming off the pant leg in a downward 45 degree angle. And there you go. Just try them on, make sure they look good, they feel good. And if you need to trim off more, do so. Mm, but I like these how they are. Just keep in mind we're adding fringe so they're gonna get shorter. I'm gonna grab a pair of pointy tweezers. The pointy ones work the best. We're just gonna grab a small portion of the ends of the shorts and pull out some of the strings. This is gonna release the stitching, creating fringe. So I just do a little bit, about a quarter of an inch, along the ends of the shorts. You can do as much or as little as you want. Just keep in mind, after we wash the shorts, the fringe is going to get bigger, so plan for that. I like just a little bit on the ends. And take your time with this. The neater the fringe looks, the better the shorts will look overall. So do front and back, and when you're done, it should look something like this. So cute! DIY high-waisted cutoffs, so cute and easy. And here's the fringe after the wash and drying cycle. So that's it. That's how easy it is to make your own shorts. And super cheap too. Play around with different cuts and colors. Make them long, short, high-waisted, low-waisted. And my personal favorite, the peekaboo pocket. So I hope you try it out. Summer's already here, so get going! Alright guys, I'll see you in my next one.